First thing that you want to do is unplug the unit from the wall, of course. And then we take off the dryer vent hose. And then there will be about eight small screws on the back of the unit to take off. Eight to ten, something like that. I think there was eight on mine. And once you remove that, you'll see the thermostat. And let me be clear, you don't have to take these wires off to test it, but I'm going to go ahead and take the thermostat off so you can see what it looks like. And it's held on by two screws on either side of this shield. So take those out, take off this, and you will be seeing the heating element of the dryer. The thermostat. Now to test that, you just get your voltometer and you're going to want to set it to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance which is right there and what you want to do to test the element is you want to see some continuity if there's continuity you're going to see this go up to about 10 to 12 and if it stays at 1 you have a bad heating element or thermostat and there we go it's going up to about 10 so I know now that the thermostat is good and the heating element is good because we have continuity so we're going to move on to the thermal fuse and basically you're going to do the same thing here see if it has continuity you don't have to take this out I'm just going to take it out so you can see what it looks like and incidentally there's one bolt holding it on very easy to get out I tested it it has continuity no problem here and there you go you just test that the same way as you test the heating element and the thermostat now I'm going to take off the thermal fuse overload cut off fuse and test that and it should show some continuity if it stays at one of course it's bad and there you go you see it hasn't moved and you don't have to take this off trust me it's a lot easier to test it while it's on so here are the new parts you have to purchase the thermal fuse overload cutoff fuse uh, along with the thermostat they sell it as a pair now 38 bucks take it one bag it see what we have here there are the two parts a few accessories the instructions which we'll just discard we know what to do and there they are so it was very easy one screw put it back I know I keep calling them bolts it's because I'm not using a screwdriver so I keep calling them bolts but they're actually screws Put it on there, you connect it back. And then you just reverse the process, start putting the unit back together. Put all the screws back. Then you reconnect the duct hose and put it back into place, plug it back in and let's give it a whirl. And now the dryer runs perfectly. So if you have a dryer that runs fine but it's not heating that's probably going to be the fix there you go please subscribe and i'll see you soon